Hello, I hope that you are doing well. This is Kazan Adavi from Sager Educational Group. Uh, at the start, please subscribe our channel and just introduce our, our channel to your friends and your colleagues. So in this uh, video, I'm going to introduce you how you can investigate and uh, calculate the velocity uh, profile in a 3D tube, and then I will tell you how you can uh, extract different types of results and graphs uh, accordingly. So I would select model wizard. So since I'm going to work with a 3D model, I would uh, select 3D. <clears throat> the purpose of this example is calculation of the velocity profile. So I would go through the fluid flow part and I would select the laminar flow section. And the, the, the study of the example would be like uh, stationary. So at the start, I draw the geometry of the, of the system that I'm going to simulate. So I select the dimension to be length unit with centimeter. Then I select the cylinder as a kind of tubular thing that we are going to investigate. The radius of the tube would be like five centimeter, and the, at it, and its height would be ten centimeter. We can just put it like seven, fifteen. Uh, it's a it's a tube. Uh, Let's put it uh, smaller, it's 5, and to put it like 30 it would be better. So we have like a bigger, we can change the axis to different types, so we can change the configuration of the tube. Uh, the fluid that is going to pass through the tube would be water, so I go through the built-in section, and I select with water. For the inlet, uh, it's like this boundary condition. Yeah. And the velocity is 0 0.1 meter per second. And the outlet would be this one. So for the case of Fluid properties there are recalled from the materials properties that they define in water section. We can the geometry and after meshing, so you can see that uh, we meshed it, so we can compute the simulation. Here you can track the memory that is using uh, simulation. So it depends on your computer. When your computer the memory is like high enough, so you can uh, use uh, a smaller mesh size to with uh, like a limited uh, RAM memory. You are not able to calculate the uh, systems with uh, high number of. <clears throat> Okay, we have the velocity profile here. For the case of uh, radial velocity profile that we wanted to calculate, we can go to the data set section. We can define a cut plane for, uh, for this direction. So it would be in the yx plane. And the Z would be like uh, N.
Okay, Z X plane. Z X plane and the the Y would be ten. So it's uh, we call it Z uh, Y equal to ten centimeter. And then I could draw another cut line two D, and we select uh, the cut plane that we defined so we can just uh, calculate this one so for the case of point one the x would be from 0 to 5 x would be 0 0 and the y would 0 5 it would be the radial velocity but if you wanted to uh, calculate that for total of the cross section of the tube so you can put minus 5 here so I name it phi equal yeah it's better to say that it was like radial direction then we right click on this so we select 2d we have already 3D graphs and for pressure and for the case of uh, velocity. For the case of 2D, we can select the surface and we can select the Y equal to, and we can see the profile of the velocity in axial direction. For the case of uh, 1D, we can select the 1D blood group and we can select length graph and type of the data, the place that we are going to read the data from is the radial cut line that we defined. So it's the velocity profile in that direction. Thank you so much.